Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here to make two quilt blocks that will turn into four quilt blocks. I have done this before in a video that I did a couple of years ago. I don't know how many. I'll link to that video down below. It's obviously when I was in Maine and I did something similar. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I had done uh, strip sets and then I cut two identical blocks out, put them together another way, cut and all that stuff, and I ended up with four different quilt blocks. This time I'm going to do it with different colors in each quilt block and we'll see how that goes. I happen to have a lot of these beautiful strips from cutting 10 inch squares. Uh, maybe I was uh, using these to make two inch squares the um, uh, the layer cakes. I sometimes used to take layer cakes and cut them into two inch squares and I believe this is what's left after I was doing that. So I am going to be making some strip set quilt blocks since I have all those lovely scraps. So I just pulled some. I don't even know how big they are um, and they vary and I don't care. I don't care if they vary and I don't care if they're wonky, like crooked, when I sew them together. So I'm looking at about like maybe an inch and three quarters. So under two inches. It doesn't matter because no matter what size, why can't I get that back up there? Whatever size uh, you end up with this way is the size block that you're going to cut, you know, to make it square. I'll explain that when we get there. So I have four strips. I have some of the same prints but different colors and I'm going to sew these four together and I'm going to sew these four together. This is what I came up with. Now I didn't bother telling you how wide the strips have to be because it depends on how tall your strips are. So here's an easy way to figure out what you need. Let's say you have some two inch strips. Mine were not quite two but let's pretend they are two, four, six, eight. You would have eight inches this way, but it would end up being smaller than that because every time you sew a seam, you lose a half an inch total because they're quarter inch seam allowances. But for easy math, you could say two, four, six, eight. I need at least eight inches this way so that you could trim your block. So now let's do it with like three inch strips. Three, six, nine, twelve. I have a light that's going wild. You would need at least 12 inches this way. So you just want to make sure that you have enough fabric in both directions to cut your block. Mine were about an inch and three quarters, so I have five and a half inches this way. So I'm going to cut five and a half inches this way. So I'm going to make two five and a half inch squares. Just, you know, if they're wonky at all, just measure like your shortest one and then that would be the size block. Like if I could only get five inches out of this one, then I would want to cut five inches out of this one also. But I can get five and a half, so I'm going to cut two squares, five and a half inches each. Now I have two five and a half inch squares and I've got these lovely pieces for crumb blocks. This is going in the crumb box. Now what we're going to do is put one block with the stripes going up and down and the other one face down over it but with the stripes going in the opposite direction. So see these are up and down and these are going this way, sideways. Like that. Well, let me get that nice and even. And I am going to sew all the way around this block. All the way around. Now we have this. I sewed all the way around. Now I'm going to cut it on each diagonal. So I'm going to just cut it this way. Well, I'm just going to tip it over. I don't know where my regular size ruler is. I cannot find it. So I'm just putting my ruler on each corner and we're going to cut right across. And I'm going to do the same in the other direction. And since I don't know exactly where my half point is, I'm just going to fold and I'm just going to press right there. So now I see a little fold line. So fold line to the tip. 
And I'll do the same with this guy. You can also press with your iron if you want. I think these are going to probably end up looking very crumb blockish. I don't know. See? Look at how cool that is. Let me go press them all. You guys, these are about the cutest little squares I've ever made. I'm so excited. This was so incredibly easy. But when you see, when you see the little blocks, people will think, how did you put all those little pieces together? I got like crooked three and a half inch squares because, you know, just cutting on the diagonal like that, it's not perfect. I trimmed them to three and a quarter. Look, look at these. I'll do a close up at the end. Oh my God, I absolutely love it with the two blocks all having different strips. Look at how cute. Like, look, look, look at that little bit of orangey pinkish stuff going on. And of course, when you sew these together, you're going to be losing, you know, a quarter of an inch there too. And it's just going to be like little tiny crumbs. Oh, look, are they not beautiful? I think they're beautiful. So, you know, don't throw scraps away. Like I said, I'll, I'll lay these out. I'm going to keep these. All the blocks that I make in my upcoming quilt block videos, I'm going to keep and then maybe we'll do something fun with them at the end, like a, a scrap quilt, you know, using all different little blocks. I want you to go watch the other video. You'll see the difference. And these can go together and make designs, can't they? Let's see. Uh, if I were to put these little corners like that in, can you see what I'm doing? Maybe not. Uh, you'll see it in the other video. And, uh, but I just think they're cute on their own. But see? See, it makes like the diamond. Oh. So go watch the other video in the description box. I'll try to put it on the end screen also. And then you can experiment, maybe with different size strips on both pieces. Just the trick is you want to make sure that as tall as your strips are, you want enough width so that you can cut some squares. And then the other thing is you want to do them right sides together and you want to turn one. So you want stripes going this way on one and then the other one face down like this, the right sides together. And then you sew all around, you cut the diagonal, you open them up, and then you marvel at what you just did. <laughs> okay? And look at how cute they are. Three and a half inches. I like that so much. You could sash them. I just think it would make such a beautiful and colorful quilt. And, you know, if you like the, you know, whimsical look of this, you know, try to get something that is a stripe and then maybe circles. This is all geometric, and I just think it worked really, really well. I, I hate this spot on my table. I just hate it. Maybe I'll get some brown paint and paint that. <laughs> you guys, I'm very happy. Look at the little slideshow coming right up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye! What a cute size three and a half inches is, she said never.